the first word that comes to mind when I think of Americans' veterans is sacrifice, from the patriots that fought for our nation's independence to the greatest generation and the soldiers fighting terror around the globe. These brave men and women have given and continue to give so much for us to be able to live safe and free. On Veterans Day, we honor more than 20 million living veterans, 250,000 who call Arkansas home, and the memory of those who came before them. We take time to reflect on the sacrifices of ordinary men and women from all corners of our nation who have and continue to serve our country. Honoring our promise to the men and women who selflessly place themselves in harm's way has always been one of my highest priorities. That's why I've worked to improve health care and access, expand educational opportunities and provide opportunities for our nation's veterans to find meaningful careers once they leave the service. We must provide our veterans with the tools they need to, su to succeed in today's competitive economy. It's important that we continue to improve the benefits our veterans receive. One way to do that is to provide advanced funding for key veterans programs to ensure that all the services which our veterans have earned and depend on will continue should there be future funding lapses. On Veterans Day, we honor and respect our veterans and their families for those sacrifices that have secured our cherished freedoms. Let us always honor the service of those who have worn our nation's uniform and those on the front lines as we address the important challenges facing the nation. To all of our veterans, thank you and may God bless you, your families, and the United States of America.